Have you ever wondered where our sugar cravings come from? Scientists have long known that our preference for sugar does not depend on its sweet taste alone. Instead, our preference for sugar depends on a sensation arising from the gut. But how the gut guides our preference for sugar over artificial sweeteners was obscure until now. When sugar molecules enter the intestine, they are recognized by sensory cells. One of these is the neuropod cell. Neuropod cells synapse with the vagus nerve to tell the brain about sugars entering the intestine in milliseconds. We wondered if these cells are necessary to discern nutritive sugars from non-caloric sweeteners. We found that neuropod cells sense sweeteners using the sweet taste receptor T1R3. This causes the release of the neurotransmitter ATP. But sugars are sensed differently. Neuropod cells sense sugars using SGLT1, an electrogenic sodium glucose transporter. When glucose enters through SGLT1, neuropod cells release the neurotransmitter glutamate. As such, neuropod cells convey signals from sweeteners using ATP and from sugars using glutamate. But does the animal preference for sugars depend on neuropod cells? To answer this question, we used optogenetics. This technique allows researchers to silence or excite neuropod cells while a mouse is presented with a choice of sugars versus sweeteners. We discovered that when neuropods are silenced, the mouse cannot distinguish the sugar from the sweetener. It becomes blind to sugar. A mouse presented with a bottle containing sweetener consumes only small amounts of the liquid, but exciting their neuropod cells causes the mouse to double its intake of the sweetener. It drinks the sweetener as if it were sugar. By sensing nutrients, neuropod cells convey rapid subliminal sensations to convert food into feelings. <laughs>